Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create custom headers and footers in Excel. Um, so that you know that the important information that you want, such as page numbers, file names, company logos, print correctly uh, the first time as well as every time. And over here, I have a sales report, and it consists of um, twelve months from January to December and what we want is to have all the 12 months appear in the same sheet so we have set this worksheet to have a landscape let's go over here orientation and you can see that we have it in the landscape mode so that we get more width okay now let's take a look at the preview for the print preview for this document so let's come over here and go to print preview so as you can see we cannot fit in all the months okay we only have until january and um, also you can see if we move to the next page we do not we don't we won't be able to see the, the titles or the labels up here so this is not good okay so if you are using Excel 2007 or 2010, you can fix this pretty quickly. So the version of Excel that I'm using here is the 2007 version. Okay. So let me show you how to do this. So the uh, first thing you have to do is let's come to this view tab. Okay. And over here we can change the view uh, of the worksheet. So right now we are in the normal view and we have the page break view and also the page layout so uh, the page layout view is what we want to select here so let's click on this and now we will see our worksheet like this okay notice that we have three placeholders for the headers as well as um, the footer okay And in these places, we can place important information like uh, page number, date, or time, uh, company logo, and so on. Um, and also, you are able to see how the page page will break. Okay. Also, know that this view uh, is actually an active working view, so we can actually make changes inside here. Okay. So, so now we are in this page layout view, but the commands to make changes are uh, in the page layout tab ribbon okay so we are in the page layout view but we have to come over to the page layout tab in the ribbon to make changes okay so um, in order for us to see all the 12 months in one page we have to come to the scale to fit okay and instead of automatic let's click this one and select one page okay so now you can see that everything is in one page okay um, let's take a look at the print preview you can see that we have everything in one page okay so now we want the headers to appear in the second page and so on okay so we have we have to come over here in the page layout tab and in the page setup group we have here um, uh, print titles okay so let's come over here okay once you click on that you have this dialog box and we want rows to repeat at top so click here and select the first row okay which is the months and you click OK so now if I come to the print preview and I go to the next page notice that I have the months on top of every page okay so now let's see how we can add in custom headers and custom footers okay so let's be in this page layout view okay uh, because this is where we can see the headers and the footers okay I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see all the 12 months at one go. So, in the header, 
what I may want to do here is put uh, example the date okay I want to put it here okay so uh, when you select the header you will see this additional tab appear okay this design tab for the header and footer tools if I click away you can see that it disappears okay so let's click here and we have the design tab and to enter the date um, we can just come here and put here current date okay so if I click away we have the date over here uh, 9th of um, July okay uh, also when we select the header we get this design tab and this is actually uh, we have the desktop publishing elements okay for example I can have a header and footer which is different from the first page than the rest of the rest of the page you know, if I click here I will have the first page and it will be different from the rest of the page and uh, I can also set this up to either uh, have a left or right facing page uh, page headers okay so I'm in the header I'm in the right section over here and I have the date okay so uh, we already have that and then we want to let's come over here to the footer okay let's go to the footer you can either scroll down go to the footer or you can click here and go to the footer okay so on the footer for this I want a um, different page in the middle here let's say I want it to be different from the other pages so in the first page I want to have the copyright so I'm gonna type here copyright 2015 okay and basically you can apply some formatting let's apply bold and also you can make the words bigger or smaller depending on whatever you prefer okay so this is my first page footer okay so on the second page and so on okay let's come here on the second page I would like to have uh, page numbers so I think I can come to the footer over here and in the design tab okay we have options over here at the left and we can click here or we can have filter options as you can see we have and I'm gonna click page one of how many so we have page two of two so the total pages for uh, this worksheet that I have here is two page you know if you have more than that it will be page two of ten or page two of fifteen and so on so we will be able to see what page we are in in the entire worksheet okay okay so next let's come back up here and let's see uh, we enter the date okay and now I want to enter a company logo okay let's come over to the left side so a logo will usually be an image so just come over here to the design tab and you see this picture icon so just click this one and let's go to the desktop and I have this image over here I'm gonna select that and the, the the image is actually already uploaded okay so let's click away and see how it looks okay so as you can see the image may be too big but don't worry we can fix this so let's come over here to the uh, design tab and format picture okay here one important thing to do is you want to lock the aspect ratio okay this way uh, when you resize the image it stays in a right ratio so let's play around with this percentage so I want it to be say 25% okay so let's click OK click away and you see we have a nice uh, logo up here okay um, and in the middle I can in the middle of the header I can type the, the title for this worksheet um, or you can put the name of the file name the sheet name 
uh, if you if my the sheet name that I have here now is sheet so uh, let's come here I press sheet so you see it goes sheet number one okay if I choose the found name you will be creating custom headers in um, footers to print in Excel worksheet okay but right now I'm just going to put title okay and I can apply formatting as well you can bold make it bigger and so on so there you go it's really easy for you to okay before I uh, end this video let's take a look at the, the, the worksheet and see the print preview so as you can see we have the print preview we have the header up here the date we have the copyright below we have the title we have the logo and if you go to the next page we have the titles still there okay it remains up there so it's easy for us to look at the data and we have the, the page number and the date is still there along okay so that is how you can set up your headers and footers in excel and um, that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next tutorial video